Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide the labels from your form fields in Breakdance while maintaining accessibility. Accessibility, at its core, is just about making sure your website is usable for the largest amount of people possible. This includes considering users who use screen readers, keyboard navigation, and who have other specific needs to be able to utilize your site. The problem with removing the labels is that it makes it very difficult for people using screen readers to understand what the form fields are for. So instead of removing them, Breakdance allows you to visually hide them, which leaves them in place for screen readers. To do that, you'll go ahead and select your form builder in the Breakdance preview and go over to the design tab at the top of the properties panel, open the form section, go to fields, advanced, and enable the hide labels toggle. You can see the labels are no longer visible, but they'll still be output in the HTML on the front end. The problem now is that you're impacting accessibility, not only for users that use a screen reader, but for literally everyone who visits the site. In fact, right now, screen reader users will probably be better off than sighted users. So we have to correct that when we're doing a form with no labels. One of the easiest ways to visually indicate what form fields are for is to make sure that they have a placeholder. So let's go back to our content tab, go to the form section and select each field, go to the advanced options and make sure there's a placeholder. We can do something like an example of what should be entered like John Smith for name, or we could do instructions in the placeholder. This depends on your requirements and your tastes as far as providing these placeholders for your users. Another issue with hiding the labels is that it's not clear which fields are required. So you could also add something like required to the placeholder to visually indicate it. Note that screen reader users will hear that the field is required, so they don't need this, but Sighted users definitely need some kind of indicator that the field is required. So let's go back to John Smith. And then let's add a placeholder for each field. So we're opening the email field, going to advanced and typing an example input. And finally, we'll go down to the message field and add a placeholder message. Now this example shows you a few options for handling hidden labels while maintaining accessibility, but most contact forms like this are probably better off to just have labels. Where this really comes into play is something like a horizontal email subscription form that is already labeled elsewhere in the HTML, like here in the footer. You can see here that we've used the techniques that I showed you previously to build this horizontal email subscription form. And since it's already labeled by the HTML, it says subscribe to our newsletter, it's clear what the form is for. We've used a placeholder here. We did not use the required text in the placeholder, even though this is a required field, because it's the only field in the form, so it's kind of obvious that it would be required. Now let's take a look at the front end and inspect the markup to show you how the labels are handled when they're hidden. And you can see here that the label isn't gone. It's still there, which means a screen reader will be able to read it, but it's hidden using some CSS. This ensures that the labels can be visually hidden while still maintaining accessibility. 